All right, YouTube modeling community, guess what? I have the Foxy Box ready to go. Uh, it's, I'm calling it done. Uh, it's about the best I could do of it. Um, I'll just keep this short and uh, show you the, uh, uh, the the van and tell you a little bit about it. AMT, Chevy custom van, Foxy Box is right on the box. Pretty awesome. Comes with a lot of cool extra stuff. You'll have a lot of parts left over, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, image of the box there. I tried to recreate that image uh, without the little side pipe things. I didn't care for that. But, um, so this is what I got, and then calling it done. So let me just circle this around for you here. So this is not my best work by far. Um, this was the first van I've ever done. Um, I don't want to let this discourage me from doing more vans. Um, but this definitely was not an easy kit. I had all sorts of problems with the suspension underneath. Uh, the front suspension, I got it to just kind of fit. Uh, as you can see, the tires are a little outward on the front there. See, they're not quite evened up there. The Chevy logo on the front there, I screwed up and then put that quite even on there. Um, I do like the stance on it. It's got the lowered front end. Um, back end's a little raised up. I did it in testers copper. Pretty sharp looking. It wasn't the best paint scheme. It was the end of the, uh, the can, actually. So if, if you look closely in some spots, you can see where there's run marks on there. Um, from afar, it looks okay. Um, like I said, I like the way it looks. I like the stance on it. I think it's pretty sharp looking. Uh, the interior was very, very basic. You can't even really see it when you look in there. That was done with, um, I want to say a Model Master acrylic. I could be wrong in that. Um... Came with three sets of wheels. I did the one that was on the box. Um, I was going to do the horns on the top, but then I realized that you had a. Of course, I found this out later. In order to get the hills on, the horns on, not the hills, you got to drill little holes in the, the top there, and I already had it painted and whatnot. So I was like, you know what? It is what it is. It's a little goofy. Uh, make sure you even up the Chevy logo if you're using the custom front end. So. Like I said, it's done. It looks good. It's pretty decent. It's not my best work. It wasn't a great kit, but I definitely want to do more vans. So uh, hopefully this will be uh, the start for uh, something really, really cool. All right, like I said, short video, because not a lot to say about it. It's a decent kit. You got to put a lot of work into it. A lot of patience. It does have a few coats of uh, the wax I use. I used the quick shine floor finish right there it's got a few coats of that on there give it that shine so uh, there's my review of the foxy box don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed if you are subscribed I appreciate you thumbs up like uh, comment all that good stuff so it'll be a little slideshow here at the end and wherever you're at whatever you're doing take care